Hey guys and Happy New Year! Um, this video was supposed to go up today on the 1st. It was supposed to go up on the 1st, so by the time you see this it'll be the 2nd. But it was supposed to go up, I was supposed to already have it filmed, but on New Year's Eve I was literally in bed sick all day. I didn't eat anything, I was just horrid. Um, and my husband didn't feel very good, but he felt better than I did. So yeah, that's why this video's not hasn't gone up yet, or I haven't filmed it yet actually. So, but what I'm gonna do in January is I'm gonna show, share with you guys, instead of doing like these big long organizational projects, I'm just gonna share with you some quick tips, some quick organization projects, organizations, organizing projects around the house that you can do to help kickstart I guess a new year and I think we're gonna do um you can do follow me on Instagram at Phoenix Life 23 and I will put my pictures on there of what I have done and then you can also um, of course follow me on here and share and I'm gonna use the hashtag organize it January 15 or yeah I think it's gonna be that just organize it January and since, of course, it's the new year, it's 2015, I don't need to hashtag the 2015, just, we'll have it, we organized it January, we'll do 2015, yeah, since it is the new year. But then we have to do 2015 for the next one, so let's just do organize it January. That's going to be the hashtag of the thing, so that way, like, if you hashtag it, I can find it. Or if you also, if you want to tag me in your photo too, make sure that I definitely do find it. You can tag me and I can go look at it and see what all wonderful things you guys have done. Um, I'm not going to do like a photo challenge. Like a lot of people are doing challenges and you have a specific thing each day. I'm just going to show you some things that I'm doing in my house and hopefully give you some ideas to do in your house. And so you can do, show me whatever you are working on. If you're working on how to organize your fridge, that's great. If you're working on your kids' rooms or your toys, or if you're doing somebody challenge, like the organization challenge, and that's what you want to show for your how for organize in January, then that's fine. So, but and the videos are going to be short little videos. I'm going to try to throw in some other videos of course in there too and I'm also going to post a picture of it to my tumblr and which is my diamonds your dog tags on tumblr and I'm also going to talk a little bit more in depth about what I did and stuff and everything so yeah that's super exciting. I don't have a before and after for the first video for you because I already had it done, that's why it was going to be the first video. I will be linking the Pinterest inspiration for this video down below so you guys can check that out. Um, but basically it's a super cool organizational thing for your cans, like soup cans and stuff like that. And also your vegetables if you really want to do that, they're all in there too. But basically I went in my pantry and you know those stackable cube storage system things? you know, that stack on top of each other and you can put things in them. They're kind of old school. They used to have them a lot, but that's what I use. So I'm going to go ahead, flip you around, show you this super easy and awesome project that I did for only $6. That's right, people, $6. Super cheap, super affordable, and I love it. So I will, let's get started. Okay, guys, I know it's super dark in here and I'm sorry. But this right here is my little project. If you saw in this pantry before, there was a big cabinet, like three plastic pull-out drawer things here, and all the cans were on this little shelf. It didn't really work. And then I found this thing on Pinterest that was similar to this, but they used, you know, they're all the same size bins from the containers. Well, I don't know where they got them, but the only place I found was the container store, and they're kind of expensive. I found this matching set of bins right here. They were a dollar a piece at Goodwill, so that's $3. And the multicolored set was $3, so equals a dollar a piece. So it was just $6 all together to do this. So I'm going to come down here, and it's going to get dark, and I'm sorry. But as you can see, I have three rows of cans in each one of these bins. And then this one, I could fit, I have two rows down here, because the two of them are big. 
and I could have fit a third row here, and the bottom has my taters in it, which eventually I don't want to have my taters. You know, I will eventually price out um, going to the container store and purchasing, you know, all the same size and everything and putting here and then using these small ones for my vegetables and things like that because I like the small ones. I think they're a really good size to be in here. But yeah, that's a super easy way of storing my canned goods. You can stack them on top in there. They're wonder I mean, they're great. And we don't have a lot of canned goods anyway right now. So it's perfect for my little project. And we have our pantry is not exactly huge. I've done a lot of pantry videos. So if you're needing pantry videos, I will link them down below also. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys a few, few more minutes here. And I will tell you a little bit more. Hey guys, so basically, I, like I said, I did that project for $6. I just happened to go into Goodwill and find what I needed to do the project, which you don't always happen and doesn't always happen. And sometimes you do have to go to a store and pick things up brand new or that are more expensive. You just have to. Now I know the container store, their shipping is crazy and those basket things from the container store, they have an additional shipping cost of $6 a piece. So it's much better if you can go and pick them up. So I am going to price out how many it would be to buy enough to fit under here. Um, now my problem is I want, to, I want to get six of them, but right now only three could fit because I need to, I have a bunch of stuff in this corner that I need to find a place to put and we're wanting to get an island and if we do we'll put it in there. That's a whole, wow, that's a whole nother story. So I will price that out and I will put it, you know, somewhere on this screen that way you guys can see what it would be to buy them from the container store if you did not do shipping or you did the free shipping but there would still be an additional six dollars that's additional shipping the best bet is if you want to order them online and just do like a store pickup would be the best bet for that um, ikea might have some they don't ship so if you have an ikea near you i will Put the link to them if they have some from Ikea on there too, because I know Ikea carries awesome organizational products too. But I just wanted to share with you how a simple project like that, it took me literally like five minutes to get everything down, clean them up, get everything down there, put the cans in, and it like made the whole pantry a lot cleaner. There was nothing in the floor. I can walk in my pantry and get what I need and everything. And a little precursor, I also am doing a pantry purge. I am eating stuff that's in here and getting things used up and then you know I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get my basics and my staples and cereals and things like that and oh the TV just came back on and kind of stock some things up so that is our little organization project organization organizing project to start off our organize at January for 2015 I hope you guys have a great day and hope you guys had a happy new year, a wonderful Christmas. And also don't forget to hashtag it with Instagram or tag me and show and show your love with the organizing projects you do. Organization, organizing projects that you do. So hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye.